In this module, we are going to check out the platforms, the major platforms out there where you can upload your short form content to get great views and great engagement. And we will touch on YouTube, TikTok, Reels, and for a bonus, Pinterest. So the first thing we're going to talk about is YouTube Shorts, which came about not too long ago. And the good thing about YouTube Shorts is it is very, very great when you can go in there and create shorts based on what your audience wants. And that's where YouTube really, really stands out. Now, again, the format specifics are the same. It's a nine by 16 format. And I will show you here. Let's say we go to YouTube and we want to create our short form content. It's very simple. What you would do is go to create, upload a video over here. And what you need to know is that when it comes to YouTube, the uploading on desktop process is different than the upload process on mobile. And this is quite usual for a whole bunch of all these platforms there. You just need to know that. So I'm just going to drag my file into here. Now you will notice because it is just a minute long, which is YouTube for shorts, you need just a minute. If it's over a minute, it becomes a video on YouTube. So it's very important that you notice that, at least that you know that. But as you can see, YouTube already recognizes it that you're uploading a short. It says it looks like you're uploading a short. All your shorts are automatically considered for shorts ad revenue. This is if you have ad revenue sharing. Now, you could put the details of what your short is about in here, the description, and you could also add your hashtags in here and then select your playlist. It's quite similar to any other video that you can upload on all the other channels. Very similar settings if you're familiar with YouTube and you get to pick your tags too. And this is very important because your tags help your optimization. So it's very important. This is what really spikes your video. This is what gets a lot of people seeing your videos based on what they're searching for on YouTube. So it's the very simple process where you get to choose your category and all that. Every other thing that you have done in uploading to YouTube, it's the same process. You get to pick your ads. And stuff. So if I click next, I choose that. No, it's not made for kids. I get to pick the playlist because, for instance, this is about Google here. And we didn't select that playlist. So let's just do that. Done. You go to next. You get to choose your ad suitability and choose if you have any stuff that needs to be noted when it comes to ads there. You submit your rating. You go to your video elements, you go to your checks, and it's checking right now. Let's go to next over here. Now you get to add your video elements. Now this is pretty cool, ad related video, because now you could take, you could shoot a long video and take short clips of it. And then when you take short clips and upload it as a short here, you can add the long video as a related video. That's pretty cool. You add your subtitles, you add your products. If you have a shop, you could tag your products and then you go to next visibility issues in here, copyright ad suitability and all that. You go to next and you get to choose whether you want it private, unlisted, members only, public and save and you're pretty much good to go. So you can see that that is YouTube for you and uploading your shorts but you have to make sure that if you're using the desktop and you want it to be a short that it's a minute long that's the only way you can do that when you are using your mobile phone and you upload it it will ask you whether you want to edit the video into a short and in that instance you can choose 60 seconds to create the short but that's how you can simply upload your shorts on youtube and optimize them with tags.